and this is not a movie review. No. Are you going to do that the whole time? No. Okay, good. <laughs> that's, that's a relief. Uh, this is not a movie review. This is actually, today, we got our Bloody Marys. We Well, my Bloody Marys. We got ready. We've been putting a lot of effort in this. People have asked us where our lists videos are. We're going to do them. All today, rocking them out. This is going to be our first one. This is our top five best movies of 2015. Mm -hmm. um, Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe on the YouTubes. Yep. Uh, follow us on Twitter and like us on the Facebooks. Um, comment and tell us how awesome our shirts are. Uh, this is a nice shirt for a local brewing company. Local brewing company. Uh, they do they do several they amazing do a lot brews, of good beers. Such as the Stones Throw. Yeah. This is my favorite of theirs. Are we going to do this commercial? Uh, commercial. Before we, before we go, um, uh, we got some honorable mentions. I at least got two. I've got one or two. Um, I, ugh, I forgot to ask if something's on your list or not. Uh, uh, well, that's okay. Okay, well then I'm not going to say it and we might have to talk about it afterwards. Yeah, that's um, a better idea. Uh, Inside Out's one of my honorable mentions. Yeah, one of my favorite. This was probably one of my favorite films of the yeah. year until more movies came out. I was actually a little sad that it didn't make my list. Yeah, me too. It, I, it, Inside Out made me feel things, and um, nobody makes me feel my own feelings. <laughs> and then, then I got Martian as one of my honorable mentions. Ridley, Ridley Scott's back. And it's nice, because I haven't felt a good Ridley Scott since Gladiator, and he rocked out Martian... And Matt, Matt Damon did an amazing performance. Uh, both of them together, they're th those two are the stars of this movie, the director and the, and the main lead. Not not to take away from the other people, but yeah, the, in this also an ensemble cast, it's just a really good movie. How about all the um, the comic actors that were in it? How they did? Oh, they did great. Yeah. Michael Pena is awesome. Yeah, yeah, this Glover. is his year. Danny Glover stole a scene from J Jeff Daniels. It's nice. amazing. Isn't yeah. Kristen Wiig in that one too? Yep, and she's great too. No, it's a good movie. Yeah, I want to go, go see Martian. Um... And now I have two that I'm not sure if they're on your list, so we might have to bring them up afterwards. But uh, do you got any honorable mentions? Um, other than Inside Out, uh, no. no I didn't All right, I haven't ruled this up yet. Top five best. And, all right, uh, am I going first? Yeah, you go first. Number five. 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 Uh, my number five is Paddington. Uh, <laughs> Marmalade. <laughs> Marmalade. This movie has no business being on this list, but it earned it. It earned being on this list. I, uh, my girlfriend didn't want to go see it because it was a meme before it was a movie, and people were really hating on how Paddington looked. Mm. We were like, eh, eh. We didn't go to Paddington, so let's go see it. Yeah, yeah, all right. And, and the trailers looked okay. Yeah. I didn't think I'd like this movie as much as we did. This one was also a recommendation from one of our yep. fans to see it. Who said, are you guys uh, going to yeah. go see this? Uh, Brianna Ringo. She's yep. the one that told us to see it. So good on you, Brianna. And we good. went and saw it in... I didn't only love it when I walked out, which I did, and I believe we both gave it really high yeah, ratings. Yeah, we did. I think uh, I gave it an eight. I, yeah, me too. I think I gave it an eight and a half. Uh, I've, I've since now bought it, and it's one of mine and my girlfriend's go-to movies. Really? She loves it. We I've watched it probably ten times this year. Wow. And I'm a busy person. <laughs> so, that's impressive. So that's my testament to Paddington. If you haven't seen Paddington yet, it is by far the most charming movie on this list. Uh, my number five is Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah! Uh, great Tom Hardy performance, great Charlize Theron performance, all the peripheral parts, everything's there. Uh, I think it's better than the original Road Warrior movie. I think it's better than... Um, uh, Thunderdome? Thunder, no, no. Uh, it, <laughs> it's better than the original movie, which is called The Road Warrior, and it's better than the second one, which is called... No, the second one's called Road Warrior. The first one's called... Mad Max. Mad Max. Okay. So it's better than Mad Max, and it's better than Road Warrior. It's I'd say it's on par with Under Road, because I love Thunder Road. Or the Thunderdome. Thunderdome! <laughs> I'll talk I know what it's called. I'll be talking about Mad Max later. Yeah. Okay. So, good flick. Uh, good good flick. soundtrack. Go see it. Um, again, we'll be talking about it again, so I'm not going to talk too much. Uh, ready for four? Are you doing four first? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll do four first. Number four! Number four straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton! Y'all better make way! Yeah. Um, not nice. huge. Not huge into hip-hop. Um, I you got did after the movie. Yeah, I got a lot more <laughs> in this movie. Uh, there's a fun little anecdote. I work in a hospital, and uh, I sent him a picture of an empty Vaseline container, and he didn't get it. Yep, it's... <laughs> no Vaseline. It's the, the hate rap that Ice Cube, Ice Cube did to the rest of the yeah, yeah. gays afterwards. And, about uh, how the white yeah, man's raping him without Vaseline. all kinds of shit like that just, like, infiltrated my world after watching that movie. 
Uh, if you haven't seen Straight Outta Compton yet, pick it up. It's on DVD. I think it just came out, or it's coming out really, yep, really soon. very soon. I really, really like Straight Outta Compton. I have reasons why it's not on this list, but it would have been one of my honorable mentions uh, if you didn't mention it. I think the first two halves mm -hmm. of this movie, are, or the first two acts of this movie, are some of the best filmmaking this yeah. year. Um, I think it falls off at the end, but that's still... It's, it's still good at the end. Yeah. I just think it doesn't... The first two... Um, I'm trying to remember the guy's name. Gary Gray, F. Gary Gray, was a masterful director for a lot of this movie. There are scenes that stick with me. Yeah. So thank you for talking about it. Thank you for putting yeah. it on your list. I really liked. Yeah. Don't uh, bother picking it up on Blu-ray. It's a drama. I don't really see the point in buying dramas on Blu-ray. Um, uh, pick it up on DVD though. They're smaller. They take up less room on my DVD right. shelf. Right. That's why <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> uh, my number four is Sicario. Uh, if you haven't seen Sicario, it's really heartbreaking, it's really Josh dark. Brolin. Josh Brolin's oh, good it. in it, very good. Um, it's Emily Blunt's movie, and it's her job in this movie to stand aside for Brolin and uh, Benicio Del Toro to make you cry, and then for her to go in. It's about... Uh, cartel, she's an American DUA, DEA agent who never deals with the cartel in Mexico. She goes down in Mexico. It shows you the real hell that the cartels yeah. make in these cities deep into Mexico. And it is, you like, one of the opening scenes sets the tone for the whole movie. And it's just nothing but blood and carnage and dead bodies. And Benicio Del Toro didn't get a Best Supporting Actor nom. And I consider it a snub because I think Benicio Del Toro in this movie is the best Benicio Del Toro I've ever seen. And that's a fucking statement, because he's a world-class oh, actor. definitely. And he, and he brings it in this. Now, with Josh Brolin, he's not one of my favorites. He just isn't. And I've, I've stated that multiple times, I think even on this, but he's not Josh Brolin. I forget it's Josh Brolin, which is a testament for me, because I don't want to see Josh Brolin, and the fact that I forgot it was. All I'm saying is go check out Sicario. I don't have time to talk yeah. about the cinematography. But the performances are good, the darks are dark, the cinematography is beautiful. Now, as somebody who hasn't seen the movie, I will say that the first time I saw the trailer, it looked interesting, and then the more and more I heard and saw about it, the less I wanted to see it. So, really? Yeah, they're doing something in their marketing, I can't put my finger on it, that's underselling the movie to me. So, um, you're saying... I think you should go check yeah, it out. I'm going to now that you... I know that it. our third compadre who won't be here today, Taylor, if Taylor made a list, this would be his probably his two or three, because he really likes Sicario. Alright, you kick off number three. Alright! I'm kicking off number three with one of my favorite directors of all time. My number three is Hateful Eight. I love Hateful Eight. Uh, again, it, it didn't get a Best Picture nomination, and I don't understand. <laughs> and I even said it during a review. I really hope this doesn't just get looked over, and I really hope people don't just go, Tarantino being Tarantino, moving on. Sure, it's not his best, but his best is Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> you don't make... Those good of movies so much, in my opinion. In my <laughs> I opinion, think, I think he gets better and better. That's really? Opinion, yeah. Well, then that's a, that's a good opinion. I think that he gets good. I mean, he's. I don't think he's ever made a bad movie, in my opinion. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I grew up with Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs. But I do think this is one of his better. Mm -hmm. A lot of people consider it a middle of the road, another Tarantino, but. You don't only look at the directions, you look at Jennifer Jason Lee's performance. You look at Sam Jackson's freaking performance. You look at Kurt Russell, you look at all of them, and then that sound, mm. that score, holy crap. I think about that score more than I'm thinking about John Williams' score in Star Wars. I'm thinking <laughs> about Hateful Eight's score. Yeah. If you haven't gone and seen Hateful Eight, go do it. That was um, my number three. My number three for, for this list is Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Um, it had a great score. Also, John Williams, you just mentioned it. Also, Lin-Manuel Miranda did the Cantina music. I'm a huge Lin-Manuel Miranda fan. That's cool. Um, uh, he, if, for those of you who don't know, he's a musical theater composer. Uh, mostly he's done, um, 21 Chump Street and, uh, Into the, In the Heights and, uh, the newest one, Hamilton, um, which I'll be getting into in my most anticipated list because there's some surprising stuff in the works. Um... But anyway, Star Wars Force Awakens, Daisy Ridley was easily the best part of that whole Holy movie. crap, Daisy um, Ridley. The, the special effects were on par. The the cinematography was risky and exciting and also pays a lot of tribute to the uh, the original A New Hope, which 
uh, which is what we all wanted, even though we didn't know we wanted it. Yeah, uh, a lot of people hate it for that reason. I really like this movie. It's not going to be on my list. Mm -hmm. um, it was going to be something I was going to bring up, but I didn't know if it was on your list, so I'm glad I didn't. Uh, a lot of people are like, too many nods to A New Hope. So the crap, what? Not A New Hope? There weren't was... enough in the original prequels. Yeah, and, and everyone talked about how the, the prequels didn't pay homage to the original movies and how they're nothing like the original movies, and now people are like, it's too, it's much. too much. Come on! I don't think it is. Yeah. I think we got these brand new characters. It wasn't about Han, Luke, and Leia, which was, in my opinion, the riskiest move. This is this is Rey in Finn's movie with a, a dash of Poe. Yeah. Let's talk about, and my favorite, my, my, my favorite moment of that movie was a Poe moment. You don't even see his face. That awesome tracking shot. Where his X-Wing just flies through the entire sky and knocks out like 13 ties and then hits somebody on the ground and keeps flying. Yeah. I if you that. watch that scene and you don't go, whoa! I love the part where he goes to the shield generator, blows up all those tanks, and then goes out the same hole he came in. <laughs> that was a cool shot. Yes. So, so yeah. If you if everyone in the world seen Star Wars Force Awakens, it's broken every single box record, record. Box office record. So that, you can't get mad at us for talking about it. Um, is this me? Yeah, we're going nope. to number two. Going number two now. Uh oh. Oh wait, did you? Uh, uh, I, this is yours. Okay, take it. Uh, my number two is Hateful Eight, which we've already talked about. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> like I said, I think that Tarantino gets better and better and better. Um, I really like that he's tackling spaghetti western and he's also tackling a lot of uh, slavery and civil war stuff. Now a lot of people get a lot of like really upset about his use of the n words in the movie. Ah, uh, come on. And they get upset about that in Django and Chain too, where they say like. He's just doing it to be an edge lord, but it's not like that. It's historical accuracy. Yeah. People talked like that at that time, uh, and even not racists talked like that. Yeah, it wasn't considered racism. racism. Yeah, it was just. It what was it, considered racism if you were being a dick. Yeah, yeah, no, if you were actually being racist, it right. was being racist. But, but yeah, mm -hmm. and. I don't have anything to say yeah. about it. I haven't Watch already. our review of Hateful movie. Eight. Yeah, we just put it up. Um, yeah. I believe it's, like 80 of you actually already Yeah, have, yeah, so. it's fantastic. <laughs> um, Which is awesome. You're number two. My number two is Mad Max fucking Fury <laughs> Road. I love this movie. Remember after we saw that? <sighs> or after we saw it separately. And then yeah. you were talking about how for Halloween that year we needed to be war boys. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to. And the only reason is I, I'm still on a long hair bet. I can't cut my hair. And that's why I have this shady shaggy mop on my head but I wanted to shave and go war boys but I did meet a hateful or a not hateful uh, a Mad Max group while I was out for Halloween as I was Bob Belcher for Halloween we did run into a Mad Max group and I did get to scream just war boys war yeah, boys uh, Fukushima come on crazy war boys <laughs> uh, that's one thing we did scream but anytime just I'm about to do a shot witness me <laughs> witness him I am waiting in fella I am waiting <laughs> that movie, it's it, in my opinion, this became and people throw it instant uh, classics a lot. I think this movie became an instant classic. World in a building, second world, world building. building. It's a big thing. And it's a big deal. God, and, and it's so good <gasps> in some cases. Like, and oh my god, people talk about this movie a lot, and I think it doesn't get talked about enough. Uh, when you compare it to the originals, it, it's a hundred percent fair to compare it to the originals because it was made by George Miller and. It, I always liked Road Warrior the most. This took the best part of Road Warrior and made it the entire fucking yeah, movie. Yeah. And that hat took I balls, it took money, it took a master art of the craft, and that is George Miller, yes, the guy who wrote Babe, brought us this movie. <laughs> and he wouldn't have been able to make this movie if he wasn't a master of the craft. Oh, and this also, is this um, is a couple a things about it that I wanted to address that I forgot to. One, something I just realized, there's no um, there's no super innovative vehicles in this one like there is in World War II Thunderdome, because mm -hmm. there's that one guy with a flying vehicle, and mm -hmm. that's it. Um, there should have been like maybe a dirigible or something in it, that would have, have been cool, to have one flying vehicle to have some kind of an advantage over that's somebody. Cool. Um, but I mean, I don't know how that fit in, I'm, it's just something I just noticed. The second <laughs> one is, just recently announced, George Miller will not be working on any more Mad Max films. Yeah, and then it was announced that that was bedunked. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. He said he's not going to let anyone else touch him. Yeah. No, that was announced, Good. and then the next day, George Miller's Good. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I, I think I'm going to wait a couple months to see where they're going with it, but I did hear one rumor, one win, one rumor. You, you heard it here last, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I want to talk about Tom Hardy for 20 minutes, but I won't. <laughs> uh, did you already do your two? Yep. Oh, We're cool. On We're on number one. Number one. Number one. She is Miss America. She is beauty. She is great. She will punch you in the face. <laughs> Wait, this is me, huh? Yeah, you're number one. A movie you sadly haven't seen, Ex Machina. I love Ex Machina so much. Donald Gleason's good in it, and he doesn't notice that he doesn't know Donald Gleason's great. You got <laughs> Melissa, Melissa Vikander, Donald Gleason, and um, Oscar Isaac. Those are my three favorite names for the year. Melissa Vikander just got nominated for her best actress in Danish Girl. In that, she was probably really good in that. We haven't seen Danish Girl. She, she was probably really good in that. She's so good in Ex Machina, and a lot of people are saying that she's better in Ex Machina than she was for her Oscar perform or Oscar nominated performance. I think Oscar Isaac is one of, and I talked about him during my uh, during our Star Wars review. I think Oscar Isaac is is getting up there for me as the talent mo monsters, not the pretty face monsters, but the Tom Hardys and the Christian Bales. I think he has that ability, and he is phenomenal in this movie. And then Donald Gleason is super, super good in it, and I love Ex Machina. I need him to see it. If you guys haven't seen it, go see it. Uh, my number one is something you all probably saw. Avengers Age of Ultron. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's your number one? Fucking loved it. Wow, yep. that's awesome! Huge fan. Bought it the day it came out on Blu-ray. I also wow. bought Mad Max the day it came out on Blu-ray. Well, me too. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Age of Ultron, uh, the introduction of Vision was my favorite part of that movie. I f like, I didn't know a whole lot about Vision until this movie. That was me handing a hammer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, moment. Yeah, that part was fantastic. Um, I even liked uh, Johnson in it, Aaron Johnson. Yeah! I usually hate Aaron Taylor Johnson. Uh, yeah, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Uh, he was he was really good in Nowhere Boy, but everything else I've seen him in, he was terrible and terrible direction, terrible cinematography. I hate the Kickass movies. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, you gotta warn me. There's a lot. I also about. fucked your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! But uh, yeah, eventually with Age of Ultron, I thought it was fantastic. All the bits and gags were fantastic. Um, the only thing that I would say that I didn't like about Age of Ultron are the se the two sets of scenes where you have Banner and Stark walking around like, yeah, yeah, science. Uh, yeah, yeah, physics. We should science Nuclear. This. Yeah. <laughs> Let's stay up all night sciencing this. Like, Let's take a science board and put meta in front of it. Like, meta kind of ruined it, but um, I would still say it was my favorite movie of 20, 2015. It's amazing. Um, a lot of people started with that tune and then it died down and... Uh, a lot of the buzz fell off of that movie. I think I gave it a higher rating when I first saw it than I would now. <clears throat> but all film is subjective. If you still love it, you still love it. That's right. a testament to film. That a movie that I didn't put on my honorable mentions, I didn't think I even had to bring it up. A movie that I went and bought and I've only watched it once since. And I'm like, this is still a good movie. It's yeah. a good Marvel movie. I'm glad you still feel that when you watch that. And that's what I love about Fucking movies in general, mm -hmm. and Avengers Age of Ultron, if you didn't see it in the theaters, you robbed yourself of an experience. Yes. The fact that they let people watch that on a screen for ten bucks mm -hmm. is a steal! <laughs> it's, got, it's got a great edge up on the first Avengers movie in that you can't tell it was designed for 3D. 99% um, of the time you see a movie that's also featured in 3D, you can see the little gimmicky parts they put in for the 3D audience, yeah. which we're not a part of. I get sick watching 3D movies, so I can't... Yeah, we don't watch them in 3D My ever. brain and my stomach suck, so I can't watch 3D stuff. Um, an honorable mention that wasn't on your list, uh, I wanted to bring up, and it sure it wasn't our favorite movie, but just because of how amazing the filming and everything that was... If you haven't seen Revenant, go see Revenant. I think that it is one of the better movies of the year. And if we went down to 10, it would be on this list. But Revenant was really good. And if you haven't seen Goosebumps, Goosebumps is really fucking good. As a kid movie, I absolutely loved Goosebumps. Go see it. Those are my last minute honorable mentions. Um, honorable mentions. I don't really have any more honorable mentions for ones that I did see. But I wish that I had gotten to see When Marnie Was There. It's the latest studio Ghibli movie. Um, I, I plan to pick it up very soon and see it. Uh, there's a couple other Studio Ghibli movies I haven't seen yet, like, uh, Princess Kaguya, I haven't seen from Up on Poppy yep. Hill, I haven't seen when, uh, the, the Wind Rises. So, um, anytime a Studio Ghibli movie comes out, I must see it, and this is, the, those are some that I've missed, and I need to, I need to get back on top of that type of stuff. So, if you haven't seen When Marnie Was There, uh, comment, let us know what you thought. Yep!
Um, and then, also, throw up your top five list. That would be awesome. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Uh, like, subscribe, comment if you want to. I want to see what your guys' favorite movies are. Get ready for our worst and our most anticipated 2016. They're coming at you right quick. Anything else? Um, lubricant. 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 Lubricant.